the COBRA meeting was to coordinate our response to the disorder. And I made it very clear on a number of occasions that those involved will feel the full force of the law. So we coordinated, we went through some of the numbers. Over 400 people now have been arrested. 100 have been charged, some in relation to online activity, and a number of them are already in court. And I'm now expecting substantive sentencing before the end of this week. That should send a very powerful message to anybody involved, either directly or online, that you are likely to be dealt with within a week and that nobody, but nobody, should be involving themselves in this disorder. There have been a lot of warnings already about more disruption tomorrow. Are you worried that this could escalate even further tomorrow? We obviously went through the available intelligence, the deployment of officers, because our first duty is to ensure um, that our communities are safe. Um, and that's why I say, again, anybody involving themselves in this disorder is going to feel the full force of the law. As I say, 400 arrests, 100 charges, people already in court, and a substantive sentencing by the, week, by the end of this week. So within a week, um, the criminal justice system really has shown the robust and swift response. So I think it's very important sending a message in circumstances like this. There will be a lot of people worried about the next few days. Communities scared to leave their houses, scared about places of worship, we've heard from immigration lawyers scared to go to work. What message of reassurance can you send them that they will be safe in the UK? They will be safe. We're doing everything we can to ensure that where a police response is needed, it's in place. Where support is needed for particular places, that that is in space. Obviously, it's a difficult situation with disorder going on in a number of different places um, at the same time. But that is precisely why I held my second COBRA meeting today to coordinate the response and to get the assurance that I want and need um, that we do have adequate police in place, that we are able to cope with this disorder. But the message has to go to those who are involving themselves in this disorder, which is uh, you're wrong, you shouldn't be doing it, and you will feel the full force of the law, as I hope we've been able to demonstrate with these swift prosecutions. The owner of X, Elon Musk, has been tweeting over the past few days about your response to this crisis, about what's been going on. He's claimed that civil war in the UK is inevitable. He is a powerful voice. A lot of people follow him on Twitter. Are you worried about his impact or might he have a point about some of the things he's saying? My focus is on ensuring that our communities are safe. That is my sole focus. Um, and I think it's very important for us all to support the police in what they're doing. Um, I went up to Southport to speak to some of the police who had been the first responders to the terrible attack that happened. And they described the scene to me and what they had to deal with when those girls were attacked. Those same officers were then attacked on their own streets later the same day the same officers who had been the first responders. Our first duty is to support the police in a difficult exercise that they are engaged in, keeping us safe. What's your message to Elon Musk? Our first duty has to be to our communities to keep them safe. That is my sole focus. The police are doing a difficult job in difficult circumstances, and I think that Everybody should be given their full support to ensure that we can make sure that our streets are safe and our communities feel safe and secure. That is really where the focus ought to be. That is my sole focus, and that's why I held this second COBRA meeting.